It's a very important opportunity to see Indiana Jones differently than you've seen him before and to see what this new adventure does to him personally, how it reawakens him. Get back! That silhouette of Indiana Jones. It's magic to see him with the whip and the hat. The fedora and the leather jacket. Instantly, you got a sense that this was a very specific character. And, I mean, there's no one who looks better in a hat. I like the hat, by the way. Makes you look at least two years younger. Nice. I got a phone call from Joanna Johnston, who's the costume designer for Dial of Destiny, and she approached us to make the hats for the last film. We were delighted to be part of the journey once again, uh, since we did the, the hats for the Indiana Jones franchise, and to be part of that journey with her was very exciting. This way! We wanted the hat to be true to something that Indiana would walk into his favorite hat makers in the 1960s and find something that was truly him. That's really where we formulated the Destiny Poet. It's got very different interior elements to the last film hats that we made. So it has the olive liner, it has the deep chocolate leather sweatband, it has a warm gold IJ within it, of course. And Joanna really liked the look of the sable ribbon. So we've used a lighter ribbon than we have done in the past hats. These kind of elements really spoke to it being a vintage piece of that era. It comes to life when it's on Harrison Ford. The hat has a spirit and it has an adventure to it and it encapsulates Indy and the adventure he goes on. It just fits Harrison like a glove. There's a kind of modern take on who this character is. He is Harrison Ford as Indiana Jones.